Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Fire Clown from Alpha Squad Paintball. And uh, there's this guy, uh, Techno Geek 6, asked me if I could make a video on how to make a pod holder. Um, this is pretty easy <sighs> to make. Uh, I did it with my Flash program, so there's no pictures because I didn't have the materials to um, make it with. But basically, you're going to need a pod and... Um, some material if you want like camouflage or whatever you're going to use like black or a dark green um if it's a like a real heavy material then you don't need some cardboard but if it's like regular material then you'll need some cardboard too uh, you'll need a knife uh, a thread and some needles you know like some string and you know needles because you're going to do some sewing and um some velcro so here we go all right, first thing I want you to do is uh, grab a pod, uh, the pod you're going to use to put in this pod holder. And then what you want to do is you want to measure the length and then you want to measure the width. And um, you want to go over probably like a couple centimeters, probably like a, like, a, I don't know, just like you want to go over just a little bit so it can, so it can fit, you know, you don't want it to be exact you know what I mean because you want it to you know be snug but you don't want it to be too loose you know what I mean it's better it to be looser than super tight that it can't even fit in so you make the call on that so measure the length and width of it all right this is an aerial shot of the pod and you want to measure the um, the, the width of it and uh, take your measurements from earlier and you're gonna create this right here with the measurements um, pretty easy. The, uh, the length of it, you know what I mean? Just, and the width, you know, and you make this first, uh, rectangle, then you multi, you know, you do it over and over, you do it four times. And, uh, on the second rectangle, what you want to do is you want to make, um, a square at the bottom of it. Cause that's going to be the bottom of your pot holder. And, uh, those rectangles are going to be the the walls to your um, the four walls to your uh, pod holder. And on the second rectangle, you can see two holes right there. Uh, make those um, holes um, the size of your belt, because that's where your belt's going to go through. So uh, make two holes right there with your uh, box cutter or your knives or scissors, whatever you're going to use. All right, first you want to fold the uh, first uh, rectangle. Then you're going to fold the last uh, rectangle, then the uh, next rectangle, and then the bottom uh, square. And you should get um, a four-dimensional shape like this. And then just uh, tape it down from all sides except the top. And make sure you leave um, the uh, holes in the back open. All right, the next thing you want to do is you want to grab your um, cloth material whether it be uh, camouflage or black or brown or dark green, whatever. Um, and you basically do the same thing that you did with the uh, the box uh, measurements. You want to make the ex um, a little bit bigger, though. Like, you want to make it um, so it wraps around it because uh, that box is going to go inside of this um, cloth material once it's all sewn up. But as you can see at the top, where the arrows are pointing, there's a one more thing added there. That's what's going to be the cover, what's going to go over the uh, pod holder. And you're going to add Velcro to that later. I'll show you how. But what you want to do is you want to add another uh, square and uh, rectangle. All right. When you start sewing, you want to have the um, camouflage material or whatever you want showing to be on the inside of this um, when it's done because you want to turn it inside out so it can look uh nice and stuff. Um you might want to have you might want to have your uh, mommy help you out with this cuz uh, she probably knows she probably she'll probably know how to do this or maybe your grandma cuz here's the sewing part. What you want to do first, you want to sew these two sides together right here and then when you're done just you know what I mean? Um tie up the string at the end. 
Um, ask your mom how to do this. She might, she might know. Then what you want to do, you want to go to the next one, and you want to sew those together. And then you want to sew those uh, pieces together right there. And then you want to uh, eventually sew these pieces together. And it should come together like this after you turn it inside out. So it'll be um, four-dimensional as well. And then where the arrows are pointing, you want to, um, that's where you want to put your, um, your uh, Velcro. You want to put however you want to do it, you know what I mean? But um, if you want to put the, uh, the rougher part on the uh, part that goes over the pod or the, uh, you know, however the hell you want to do it, either, either side of the Velcro. And then you want to put the um, box inside of the um, cloth material there with the holes facing the uh, back of the pod holder. Whoop! And just slide it on in there. And uh, put your pod in there. See if everything fits good. Bam! Fits nice. Then just close the top. And it should look something like that. But don't forget about the uh, the back. So flip it around. Excuse me, and uh, cut the holes in the back, and that's it. You got yourself a pod holder. Just slip your belt through there. You can uh, make a a bunch of these, and all you got to do is sew them together, or you can just put them all on your belt. But basically, there you go. If 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 you got any more questions, or if you know, if I didn't explain something right, um, just uh, leave me a comment, and I'll be glad to answer your questions. Once again, this is the Fire Clown from the Alpha Squad Paintball. Over and out.